chest x-ray a continuous diaphragm sign the x-ray in front of you is an excellent teaching case it is showing several pathologies number one a well-defined sharp triangular opacity in a retrocardic area this is left art border here so the triangular opacity in a retrocardic area is a typical sign of left lower lip collapse number two the tracheal bifurcation which should be somewhere here is not clearly visible trachea divides into two main bronchi at the level of sixth thoracic vertebra number three there is some air in soft tissue just above left clavicle which is known as subcutaneous emphysema the air in the soft tissue but the main reason for choosing this x-ray today is to show you a sign which is known as continuous diaphragm sign there is a very fine air density making a fine line just above the diaphragm and below the heart this is known as continuous diaphragm sign which indicates presence of air in mediastinum air in mediastinum is known as pneumomediastinum less commonly known as mediastinal emphysema in a pneumomediastinum air can be present around mediastinal structures which are normally free of air this air can be present outside trachea pulmonary arteries around aorta and heart the poor demarcation of tracheal bifurcation and crina in this example is due to the presence of air in surrounding areas asthma is the most common cause of pneumomediastinum air can leak from a ruptured small airway and can travel through the hilum into the mediastinum other important causes are uh, pharyngeal tracheal and esophageal perforation because of any reason including trauma and malign malignancy air thus leaked into the mediastinum can travel into the neck and supraclavicular areas Continuous diaphragm sign should not be con confused with pneumoperitoneum, which is presence of free air outside thoracic cavity into the abdomen. Uh, this X-ray is a normal chest X-ray. The diaphragm is not continuous here. There's a break. Okay, and these are the two X-rays side by side. The diaphragm is not continuous here and you can see a thin line here which is known as continuous diaphragm sign. Lateral view showing air around pulmonary artery. Another good example. Lateral view air in superior metastina and air behind the heart normally left hemidiaphragm does not continue anteriorly in this example there's a sharp and clear interface because of presence of air the video is prepared for academyprofessionals.com these are the acknowledgement and references thank you very much